You know, I normally clean up my shop before I make a video, but I was thinking just, no, not today. We're gonna leave it messy, and I'm gonna show you how to measure your draw length in three different ways, starting with the least precise way, moving on to the most precise way. But before that, I am so excited here. Seriously, thank you so much. It's awesome to be able to interact with all of you. It really makes my day all the time. Even though I'm not able to respond to every single person, I do see you out there, and also, I'm giving away a bow today. Remember that cheapest bow on Amazon we reviewed? The Kawa, Kawanaki. Kawanaki. Kayanoki? Kayanoke. I'll tell you at the end of the video how to get your hands on that bow and enter the giveaway. But before I give it away, I think I have a little bit more fun to have with it. You ever seen anybody shoot behind the back? <laughs> draw length is extremely important because in relation to draw weight, it affects it both. For example, if you have a draw length of 26 inches, but you buy a bow that says 50 pounds at 28 inches, that's not gonna be a 50 pound bow at 26 inches for you. So it is important to know your draw length so that it can help you get the right bow. Also. If you know your draw length and you're wanting to make one of your own bows, you'll know exactly how long of a bow you should make. I'll cover that later on. The first method to measure your draw length is to grab a stick and put it against your chest or a dowel rod or an arrow or something like that. Put both of your arms straight out in front of you where both of your hands touch together. That is your draw length. This is probably the least accurate method because it doesn't account for anchor point. But it is a good method if you don't have a bow yet to get you in the ballpark and it's definitely close enough to get you your first bow. The next two methods involve drawing a bow back. The first method is to throw a playing card or an index card on one of your arrows. Draw this back to your anchor point and try to not overdraw or underdraw, just get it settled in just perfectly and then let your bow down. Where that card lays, measure from there to the bottom of the U in your knot. And this is gonna be your draw length. Now this is mostly accurate, the only problem is sometimes when we're doing a test like this and not actually shooting an arrow, we draw differently than we would in real life. So the third method is to put a piece of masking tape on your arrow, and then put marks on the masking tape for inches from the throat of your knock. And then what you should do is just set up an iPhone or have somebody video you and video your hand where the rest is while you're shooting. And this will show you the exact point where you quit drawing and where your draw length is. Draw length is measured to the very back of the bow on the handle. Those are three quick methods on how to measure your draw length. Now, what if you're going to make a bow? How long should your bow be? It's a simple formula. What you need is your draw length multiplied by two and then add the handle section. So for me, if I have a 30 inch draw length, I multiply that by two so I end up with 60 inches. I make my handles at eight inches. It's pretty common for a self bow. And so that's going to be a 68 inch bow. Works pretty well for me. And so that's a good rough estimate of where to start. You can make bows off of that measurement, but that's a good place to start if you're making your first bow. And that is how you measure your draw length and figure out the length of a bow you should make if you're making a bow. If you want this bow, click the link below. Stay tuned because I will post the winner of this bow and reach out to the winner. Today is a good day. Thank you so much for being here. It's been fun talking to you, hanging out again. I'll see you guys soon. Stay positive. You know I'm for you. Peace.